Now, hey guys, welcome back to the channel and another Swiss 001 video. Now, today it is finally time to talk about the Airport Madness 3D version 2 game again. Yes, I haven't talked about this one for a year now, actually. It's been quite a while. Yeah, Airport Madness 3D is a very, very interesting ATC simulator, air traffic control simulator. Basically, our mission here as a player is that we're ATC and we have to uh, control all the planes and make sure that they don't crash into each other. That is kind of like the main thing here. Okay. Yeah, actually I'm making a video about this mainly because there is about to be a new version of this one. So I wanted to, you know, say goodbye a little bit. So let's just go ahead real quick and play this here and have a little bit of fun because this is actually very interesting. Now let's go for the settings first though. We have a few things to check out. We have the traffic rate from light to madness that we can choose here. Um, of course we're going to go for madness. Let's, let's, ha let's have a lot of, you know, planes coming into our airport. Uh, another very, very important factor of course is weather we either have sunny or rainy weather to choose from and we're of course gonna you know <laughs> go for rainy weather because we're gonna we're gonna you know we're gonna make it hard so let's just do that real quick uh, let's go and press play here we can actually choose our airport of course we have the big international airports of this planet chicago john f kennedy toronto and canada there's also hong kong but we have also got some more exotic airports like london city or lukla which is in nepal let's just go there real quick and see how that works. Uh, here we can choose a runway that's being used, which we cannot, ironically, here at Lukla Airport. I mean, we've already talked about this one a lot. This runway can only be used from the 2-4 side. So let's just use it from the 2-4 side. Okay, now we're here in the tower of Lukla in Nepal. As you can see, the weather isn't good at all, uh, which is actually a big problem. I mean, you know, Lukla is known for being the most dangerous airport that there is. And we're, we have now made it a lot worse now. Okay, so what's happening right now is these planes, this is a Dornier. This is a Twin Otter plane. Very nice one. These are now taxiing through the runway. I've just cleared them to taxi to runway 24. And actually, let's just clear this one here for immediate takeoff. As you can see, we have several options to choose from. We have lineup takeoff, immediate takeoff. Let's just go for immediate takeoff just to get these planes out of here because at the same time, there are actual planes uh, about to arrive. Let's uh, check that out. We have got some time left and we've actually cleared two planes at the same time. And oh... Well, that's gone wrong. Okay, something that's just happened now is that there was another plane landing here and I didn't notice it. I mean, I didn't even clear it to land, so it didn't have permission to land. Come on. As you can see, this is already getting, uh, you know, very, very wild here. I mean, I cleared two planes at the same time for takeoff. That is, uh, not- Oh, no, 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 go around, go around, please. Oh, no, this is gonna go wrong again. All right, arrivals two, departures three, crashes two. Only one of the five planes so far has survived. Um, I mean, right now we have a little bit of a silence there. Oh, there we go. We've got a plane coming in. This will probably be the first plane not to crash at our little airport. There we go. That was not a good landing. Yeah, the rain situation doesn't make the whole thing better. I mean, we don't even have radar here. Why don't we have any like, radar screens or anything, really? Oh, we've got another plane that's just come in here, and we didn't even clear it to land. It was not supposed to... How, how, why would you land here? Yeah, as you can see, the, the simulator here isn't particularly realistic. As you can see, that Dornier plane that's landed before literally just taxied through the gate on its own, and this one does as well. Without me ever giving any input to both of these aircraft... Uh, and there's another one coming in. Hold on. That's, uh, the airport madness for ya. Let's maybe try running this airport a little bit more smoothly now. Okay, let's just clear this plane, this Dornier that's landed here before, to taxi to runway 24. Meanwhile, this other aircraft is taxiing to the gate, to the terminal. Also, this plane here is ready for taxi, so let's just clear it to runway 24 as well. Oh, meanwhile, there's another one that's just landed. Why, why are they all coming in? I, I, don't even, I don't even see them here on this radar screen. It's so weird. This is, like, genuinely dangerous, because I don't know when planes planes actually land or take off, right? So this is like a guessing game, like a game of luck. There we go. This Dornier is departing now. I've cleared it to depart, um, which is, I hope that there's no nothing coming in here right now. Now, this is the problem about rain. Normally, you would actually see all these aircraft coming in, but now you can't. Oh, no, 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 no. Go around. As you can see, we can tell planes to go around. Gone, go. That's gone well. Uh, yeah. All right, as you can see, this Twin Otter has now gone around, which is nothing that would normally happen here at this airport, because it just cannot go around, but okay. Meanwhile, we can clear this plane for departure as well, and let's just hope that there's nothing coming in here, because that would be very unfortunate. This Twin Otter right now is taking off, and it's looking like this is going to be a successful take- Oh, yeah, we can tell this plane 
to go slower. Maybe we can push this a little thin. Please don't crash. Oh, that was super. That was that was scary. All right, perfect. Meanwhile, this plane is also ready for takeoff. As you can see, this is a little bit of a stressful job, but actually, that's still nothing compared to what a normal air traffic controller has to do, right? Of course. Oh, I think I can already see another plane that's coming in for a landing. Please just go faster, because there's someone already waiting at runway two four to take off. As you can see, this is you know this is quite wild there. Powering down my phone for takeoff. Gotta fly, okay, Kirsten. Uh, you're clear for takeoff, Kirsten. I hope you survive this one. This is like a 50-50 chance now, Kirsten. Come on, Kirsten. There we go. We've got a clear for departure. And now, Kirsten, here you go. And there's someone else coming in. And it doesn't look like you guys are gonna be colliding, so that's all good. All right, that was perfect. As you can see, this is a busy day here at Lukla Airport. Okay, um... Oh, no, I've, I've done something wrong. I hope this is not gonna... I hope no... Okay, that was quite unexpected, to be, like, genuinely honest. <laughs> this didn't work as I hoped it would. Something I do very much appreciate, of course, is the animations here, the crash animations. That is, uh, of course, and, you know, necessary for any game, really, or any flight simulator. That's, like, the main problem about Microsoft Flight Simulator. It's the non-existent crash animations, right? Okay, meanwhile, this plane has landed, and we can now clear this one for departure. Everything is looking good. And, oh, no, no, this is gonna go wrong. How do they always have the audacity to just come into the airport? God damn it. How there are so many planes here? Like, <laughs> how many people do actually want to come here, right? I don't believe it's a lot. I think I just saw a piece of airplane go flying by my window. Mayday. Okay, James. As you can see, this was a totally fine ta takeoff here. No worries there. All right, a uh, hard landing. And um, we've got this plane's also ready there. Perfect. By the way, this is also a really nice feature here. We can actually tune into the cockpit camera of this plane of this... Uh, uh, Dornier Doe 228. There we go. This is uh, quite nice. And there we go. We're holding short runway 24. Let's just clear this plane here for immediate takeoff. Yeah, this is uh, quite a nice level here of realism. This is like genuinely a cockpit of a Dornier. That's quite nice. And nope, that's gone. That's gone very wrong. That is gone. That's not good. That's gone wrong. Rest in peace. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, maybe we want to go to another airport. Let's maybe go to London City then. Yeah, London City. Let's go. Okay, now here we can actually choose which runway we're going to use. Uh, let's just go for runway 09, uh, which is going to be interesting because normally in real life, runway 09 is never used here. Okay, something that's now happening is we're clearing the planes to runway 09. Actually, this is a 737 MAX here flying. Oh, no. Yeah, you're not allowed to even be here. But all right, let's just give it a chance. As you can see, this is what London looks like. This is very much the ordered on wish version of London. Let's just go ahead and uh, clear this plane for departure in A320, a plane that would normally not be legally allowed here to, to fly, but it's flying anyway here. So, uh, I mean, you know, why not? <laughs> I mean, we're, while we're already at it, let's uh, clear this F Ocker plane here for takeoff and this 737 MAX as well. Meanwhile, there is actually another plane here coming in for a landing. This now is a Beechcraft, I think. I'm very good at naming planes today, am I not? Not. Let's just go for uh, faster. We can tell the plane to speed up, which is, I mean, something that you would normally not say as an air traffic controller. And actually, this is getting a little risky with the 737 takeoff, I guess. We're going to definitely experience here with this kind of plane is the wake turbulence. But, you know, there we go. The Speechcraft is coming in for a nice landing. Again, landing on a 09 or something that you would normally not see in London City. Because, you know, we don't want planes flying so close to these buildings here. I mean, this is actually an A320 again. Uh, this would normally not be allowed here, of course. But whatever. Let's just have this plane land here anyway. Let's just uh, go for the cockpit of this F Ocker. There we go. Okay, this is not what a F Ocker cockpit looks like. But as you can see here, we are coming in quite nice for a landing here. Runway 09er. Looking good. Oh, yep. There we go. Coming in. Let's just see here from the cockpit. Oh, there we go. Not particularly smooth again, but or, or, I mean, all right. Okay, let's just go ahead and stop. Go back to tower cam. There we go. Oh, meanwhile, we've got some more traffic here. What kind of plane is that? Oh, a Gulfstream. Now a private jet. All right, getting classy. Okay, and meanwhile, we've already got an A320 just behind that. God damn it. Let's tell this one to go faster and this one to go slower. And there's already another plane, a 737, coming in for a landing again. Yeah, I didn't know that London City was so busy. All right, meanwhile, we've got two planes here on the approach runway 09er. The 737 and this A320 and it's getting close. Yeah, the thing here about this game here is that the planes are not particularly smart. I, they cannot think at all. They're literally computers that I, as air traffic control, have to maneuver. You know, they cannot think for themselves, right? And why are they landing so late? They got such a long landing there again and 
There's quite a few planes here. <laughs> and meanwhile, there are some more planes coming in for a landing. That's not good. Eric says, great work, ATC. And Eric, you look like a... What is that hair, man? <laughs> All right, meanwhile, we've got a few planes here. Let's just go ahead and tell this one to backtrack. Actually, all the planes, let's have a little bit of a, like a backtrack convoy going on here at runway 09. Have all the planes backtrack to the gate at the same time, because otherwise this will not happen in any time. There we go, backtrack, backtrack, backtrack. Meanwhile, there's another plane coming in for a landing. Let's tell this plane to extend the approach, which is something we can easily do. There we go. Now we have a little bit of space for all the other planes to, you know, backtrack here to the gate. This looks actually kind of fun. Have this convoy go on because I don't want inbound traffic here to crash into all these planes. Yep, yeah, we're looking quite good here. Uh, there is someone coming in for a landing. Well, there's some planes on the runway. This is getting a little close, but oh, just come on, just go. You can do it. You can do it. Oh, you cannot do it, right? Oh, this will this will be a close call. Yeah, we've just yeah we've lost two more aircraft. I'm totally reporting this airport to the FAA. Kevin, the FAA is only for America, not Britain, and we're in Britain right now. Meanwhile, there is another plane, a private 737, coming in for a landing. This is not a Max this time around, so that's good. Oh, there we go. Yeah, because we have a another Max here holding short. Oh yeah. Uh, this is probably what the traffic situation would look like if uh, you know Heathrow and Gatwick and all the other millions of airports that London for some reason has were to be closed for some reason. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, good simulation there, of course. All right, there we go. We have a, uh, this is Q400 coming in. This is owned by United Airlines, which is an American airline, of course. This is not particularly realistic. Well, we've got some more turboprops here coming in for landing. The f Walker is faster than the Q400 and that's that's collided. Um, now we've got some, you know, more space here on the runway, so that's good. Now what we're gonna go for is we're gonna have the King Air take off. All these planes here take off in a convoy again me while the runway is clear for a second literally no we're running this airport on convoy operations this is looking good oh that's that was close that was very close there did you just see that damn uh oh uh oh no 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 not again Oh, this is gonna get close. Oh, all right, there we go. Meanwhile, we can uh, do the convoy thing again here with these planes. And we can have these planes here back taxi to the gate. Oh no, hold, hold, hold. Please hold. Oh, that's gone wrong. All right, 737's crashed into the 737. That's quite ironic, huh? Oh, no, no, no. Go around, please. Go around. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that plane here almost crashed into these planes back tracking, right? Damn. Do you even lift, bro? <laughs> Things barely taking off. Meanwhile, we've got, uh, oh, no, 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 this is gonna go very wrong. How, how, is this, how is this supposed to operate? Okay, we're gonna lose another plane, either the Aether 20 or the Gulfstream. Okay, it's gonna hit the Gulfstream. Oh, that's gone wrong. You know who I actually feel like right now? I feel like, like a substitute teacher in an eighth grade class that's literally completely out of control. I think that's a good representation of what's happening right now. Yeah, see, I wouldn't really make a particularly good air traffic controller, especially in a world where planes do not have the ability to think. Uh, you know, actually right now it's pretty quiet here at the airport. That's pretty relieving. So I think it is time to say final goodbye to the flight simulator or game perhaps. And so, yeah guys! Thank you for watching today's video, and I'll see you tomorrow. As always, good night.